Hey everyone, today I'm going to be walking you through how to construct your own terrarium. All you're going to need to start is some kind of closed container. I've got an older cycled mason jar here. Um, this project is a great opportunity to repurpose old um, containers like this. Um, glass or plastic, you can use old um, plastic water bottles. Aside from that, all you're going to need is gravel, dried moss, dirt, some kind of plant, and some kind of little stones or toys to decorate your terrarium. Now traditionally succulents or cactuses aren't great for a closed terrarium just because it's so humid and moist in there. Um, but I've had success with it in the past, so I'm going to give it a try. Um, but I'll list some other plants that might be better alternatives for you to stick with for your first try. Now, first step is to put about an inch worth of gravel at the bottom of your terrarium. I've got mine here. You're just going to dump it in there. And this provides kind of a good drainage system for the water in your terrarium. Next, I'm going to put in some dried moss. Now, this step is optional. It kind of provides a good um, barrier between the soil and the gravel and it also just looks cool but it's definitely not necessary if you can't get your hands on any just stick with the gravel and the dirt. Now I'm just going to take a spoon to kind of mash that moss in there get it all packed in tight so we can have some clean layers in our terrarium. Now next I'm going to start spooning um, the dirt into the terrarium. You're going to want to fill it up about halfway but I'll kind of show you when I'm finished putting it in there what it looks like. Now, as you can see, I've got it roughly halfway full and I kind of used my spoon again to um, make sure it's nice and tight in there. Not too packed in, um, but just a little bit. Okay, now next I'm going to be putting my plants in. I like to use chopsticks for this part. It kind of helps you get in there, moving the dirt around, creating a little hole for your plant. And then you're just going to stick it down in there. And then again, use the chopsticks to move the dirt back into place. Make sure it's all in there. Okay, and now for my succulent, I'm just going to do the same thing again. Make a little hole to put the roots down into. And then stick it in there. Hook it all down and put the dirt back into place. Okay, so I just went and grabbed a few things to put in my terrarium. I've got a little horse figure and a little koala. And then I grabbed a few rocks to throw in it as well. And we'll just kind of scatter those around at the bottom. Okay, so next I'm just going to pour some water in. You're going to want to pour enough in to where it would take up about half of where the gravel was, about half an inch. Um, and you should never have to water it again after this. You'll put the lid on seal it tight and it should um, keep the moisture going on its own and you should never have to open it up again. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in and let it trickle down there. Okay, so I don't know that you'll be able to see, but I've got about half an inch of water there. And so then I'm just going to screw on my lid and there you go you're all done super easy super quick if you want you can decorate the outside of the jar It'd be really cute um, but I'd love to see your finished products so send your pictures into the museum and let us take a look at them thank you all for watching see you next time closed terrariums do not need to be watered because they develop their own water cycle First, the water collects on the walls of the terrarium, then falls back onto the soil and plants like rain. The terrarium shows, on a miniature scale, the relationship between an environment and its water cycle. The Oklahoma State Museum of Art currently has on display an exhibit titled The State We're in Water, 
which centers around that relationship on a larger scale. After you finish making your terrarium and observe its water patterns, come by the museum to see how that process is expressed through the artwork.